And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Vimer Dinger Control. I know this is a pretty popular deck and I've had uh, people ask to to see it on stream and what are my thoughts on the deck and, and all that kind of thing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's give it a try. We haven't played this deck since the patch 1-2 uh, came out last week where basically there's two things that changed with the deck. Uh, the, the most important thing that changed was Vi being reduced from 5 toughness to 4. Vi is still really good, but just not nearly as broken as it was before. You know, before you could use, you could play Vi as a removal spell against 5 drops, and Vi would stay alive, and then still be able to trade with something else. Now you kind of have to have, use Vi as like a, you know, you play it, challenge, use a removal spell on a lower cost thing, and then maybe you can trade with the 5 later on, or, or something else. Um, so that was one thing, and then Deep Meditation, you know, went up from 2 to 4, which has hurt, a, or sorry, went up from 2, 4, and then and th uh, 2 and 4 for the cost to 3 and 5 as the cost, which is something that's bad for a lot of decks, but it's not as bad with Heimerdinger, because Heimerdinger, the 3 mana turret, your floor be gone, is the most valuable turret that you have, that's, that's really what your deck's all about, is making these floor be gones. Um... And, uh, you know, that's what deep, deep meditation now, whenever it does cost you less, will get you a floor be gone. This specific list that we're going to be playing here is from, uh, another streamer called, uh, channels Meta World Gaming. Um, all they do is play, it's a, it's a couple of people that, that are on there. They stream a lot and all they do is play this deck. They play this deck all the time. Um, have a lot of success success with it. Uh, you know, get up to masters, like make a new account, go from iron to masters again, and, and so on. And they so they just love this deck, play it all the time. So I definitely want to play their list because you know, for somebody that, that plays the deck that much, I want to play their list. Um, and yeah, good good streamer there too. That I recommend. Uh, that's Meta World Gaming. But um, yeah, let's let's see how it is. I'm my myself. I'm not a huge fan of this deck. I honestly think that the the Mage Seeker Lux deck that we played yesterday with Heimerdinger and Lux, I think that's honestly a better Heimerdinger deck than this. I I honestly don't think yeah, so that's that's myself, but um let's give it a chance. You know, let's let's uh give it a try. I guess talk about these two cards. Um they are all about playing uh Kempunk Pickpocket instead of Claws of the Dragon, saying that Basically, the most common use of Claws of the Dragon is spending the two mana to play it as a two mana three two. You just do that all the time. That's where it's usually used. By the and they said by the time that you actually are playing two spells a turn, which you know, which is until later. Um, but but by the time that you're doing that, you don't really even need the Claws of the Dragon out there because by that time you're usually making turrets and everything like that, or you have like the game underhand. Um, that like that ability isn't as relevant. So if you're going to be spending two mana on a three two, it's a lot better to play a Kempunk Pickpocket that that doesn't always Nexus Strike. It doesn't Nexus Strike that often, but it's you know going to be your two mana three two to play on turn two. That's going to trade and stuff. But the the games that it does Nexus Strike like against um, it it can Nexus Strike a lot easier against like Karma Lux for example, um, where their turn two play is playing the one three Eye of the Dragon. Um, yeah, like they don't really want to block with the, the pickpocket, but whenever it does Nexus Strike, it can be game changing. And so, like, you just want to play that. And then playing one key guardian to help protect Hybridinger, um, or maybe you put it on to protect a Vi or a, uh, you know, Assassin, Monk, something like that. But, you know, usually you want to play this to, to protect a Hybridinger. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, another another spell that draws a card and uh, pretty good. And, and with Vi, with Vi having like the reduced toughness now, putting a key guardian on a vi and then being able to challenge with that barrier uh can be really nice as well all right so let's let's give this a try we're gonna go play five games over in ranked as we always do and let's see how it goes this is the kind of deck though that i don't think that this deck is like super easy to pilot at least not for myself Maybe it is for, for other people, but like just this isn't one that's like you pick it up and you're going to be playing it perfectly. So I expect that I'm going to be making a few mistakes in here. Fizzbrom. 
a Fizz Braum kind of gives me the sense that they want to be using pump spells and pumping these things, you know, buffing these. Um, and so Will of Ionia, very good against buffs. But this kind of deck does reward you for a lot of practice, I think, because I think there's a lot of um, nuance that... Uh... Y'all been y'all been playing against a lot of Teemo Burn recently. Labworks, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it, Labworks. Yeah, I see on like Mobile Addicts, it's like the or Mobilitics. Sorry, I'm I'm working on pronouncing the site correctly. <laughs> I see on Mobilitics that uh, Teemo Burn's doing well and that it's pretty popular, but I haven't played against it a single time in Masters yet. So I think it's a, I think it's a lower uh, ranked deck that that's pop. I think that's where it's kind of popular. <clears throat> but I think it is probably probably good. <laughs> well, thanks, Labworks. Thank you so much. So I don't think it can be discounted. Okay, how how did you do with it? Do you like Teemo Burn Rex? Oh, played against. Okay. My bad. As fate wills. All right, we bounce in. And so I kept the Will of Ionia in my opener. It seemed like a Fury of the North deck. So we bounce in. Yeah, Fizz is getting pretty popular. That's true. This is a Frizz... Fizz Braum. I wish they would have buffed up Braum during the last patch. Braum definitely needs a buff. I, I think it is the worst champion. I don't know of a deck that the deck is better with Braum in it than without Braum. Like, I don't... If that makes sense. Here comes the punchline! One thing the Meta World Gaming talks about with this deck is that it's not about, it's not just a combo deck of play Heimerdinger on turn turn five and play Flash of Brilliance three times. Sometimes you'll have that, you know, which is great, but it's really more of a protect the Heimerdinger kind of deck. Like you really want to wait to play Heimerdinger until you know you get to um, untap with it. Freeze. Yeah, I like I like uh question is what are your opinions on uh one and two of cards? Saying their deck always seemed a lot of one and two of cards. I really like ones of one of and two ofs. I think I think those are great. I think that uh they you know, games are different. Games don't always go according to plan of like you play this on turn one this on turn two this on turn three all the time and it's really nice to have a wide variety of cards available for different situations um, yeah i think one you know one ofs and two ofs are great honestly I'm a, I'm a big fan of them some people really like just the clean look of just having you know like three down the board um, but i i have found more success with decks that have a lot of one ofs and two ofs myself because that they they're just more versatile they you know like whatever the situation calls for there's they got cards for hmm Ugh. let's 
get to the fun part. I could. I say I could Key Guardian the Heimerdinger, then play Heimerdinger, but I don't feel like that's the best use of my turn. So it's Spirit's Refuge, the Vi, or Twin Disciplines, the Vi. Either one blocking the Starlet Seer. You cannot escape. Come on. I think I want to Refuge. Because even if it dies, I like having the Twin Disciplines pairing with the Heimerdinger, right? Like the, the Floor Be Gone turret. I like that pairing. Hmm. She used one just once. This would be a good winter. <laughs> so you have a hundred percent win rate against Vimerdinger with the Mage Seeker deck. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I I love that Mage Seeker deck that we played yesterday. Yeah, I think it's I think it's amazing. Um yeah, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of it. I I mentioned that earlier, Gucci. I don't, I don't know if you're listening. I mentioned that like while we're talking about the deck. I think that is a better Heimerdinger deck myself. This is the popular one that people play. I think people may not really realize that Mage Seeker Lux is a deck. And that it got amazing after patch one two with burn. You know, for the most part leaving the format. Yeah, no, I, I agree, it's it's great. We were yeah, we went five oh with that deck yesterday. On stream, let's see. What do we want to do? Fast as we light as trouble coming at ya. Hey, Wrinkler. It is, it is June. Hey, Wrinkler, thanks for gifting us up. Future Bible Hero. New sub. Hey, Dr. Grindle. Welcome, welcome. Time does fly fast. Blessed by snow and stars. Ah, the sweet smell of science. All right, they're one card in hand. I don't think they're one card sticking out, Mahamadinga. Untap. Got a blocker. If I must. There's the one two punch. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm replaying. Yep, Cordek, yeah, I'm 
replaying your Hecarim deck later. Um, yeah, the the first one was just yeah frustrating, frustrating games. They were really great games, but it's just our opponents always had exactly what they needed. Last little bit of cards to do exact lethal kind of stuff. It was just it was frustrating. Yeah, Fizz is pretty popular. I mean, one one man champions are good. I mean, it's, you don't have much mana investment. You don't have to do that much to be good as a one mana card. And both Fizz and Teemo do quite a bit for one mana. Let's see, Sejuani, Gangplank. I'm gonna keep the Monk and the Vi. All right, so far so good. One and oh. Nothing like the Sorry stink of blood and sweat. Let's get to it. Ow. This is kind of how it's been, though, today with... Um, I mean, besides last game. I guess last game was the only difference, but... Yeah, opponents just attacking. You know, getting the turn one attack with one drop. That happened a lot of games earlier. You know, we had... Uh, Teemo, Fizz, Omenhawk. Now Jacket Butcher. Hello. So yeah, these things are already three out of five, like turn three turns. Yuck. I never Ain't no small in powder. So they have five cards in hand. Three of them are mine. From the black market merchant and the pilfered goods. Fast as wind, light as air. Take from the rich, give to me. That's a really good card of mine to take. A nice cheap threat. Let's get to it. Question was, what do you think of the opponent's deck? Is it good? No. Save me, Luke. I'm doing this my way. It's a hard question to answer. Is it like one of the absolute best things to be doing? No. Can it win a lot of games? Yes. I think that the the thinking that a lot of people have, I think this is just natural thinking, is putting putting things into buckets. This is good. This is bad. This deck's good. This deck's bad. That's... I don't think that's very helpful. I don't think... Some other games, yes, there are just a couple of decks that are very good, and they are much better than everything else, and then the other decks are bad because they can't, they can't deal with that. That's not really how Runeterra is. Runeterra, everything across the board is so close and so even, and that any deck can, can you know, like every deck can win 60%, depending on the pilot. Like they I'm sure they could have a 60% win rate with their deck, to, depending on the pilot, depending if, like, if you really know your deck well and play it a lot and, and all that kind of stuff and you have a real good plan. I don't think it's just, but with that being said, I don't think this is, like, I wouldn't pick this as, like, one of, like, my top 10 decks probably, but I 
but like I said, you could still have a 60% win rate with it, which is awesome. So it's not just, it's not an easy question of, is it... No, oh, I guess I, I took too long doing that, I didn't get to challenge. It's not just an easy answer. It's not, there's not... Like, that's, that's basically true for every deck. Like, people ask that all the time. Is this deck good? Is this good? Is this card good? It's... It's not that easy. I think... Better way... So, better ways to be thinking would be saying something like... How can we... Like, like what's the... You know, what's the best ways to, to, you, to play said point game play. How can you maximize those cards? How can you maximize this deck? Like, like that kind of stuff. Man, I have too many Heimerdingers. I just need to get Heimerdingers out of my hand. I have too many of them. So yes, I can flash a Brilliance and play a 3-1, but that doesn't make a lot of sense with them having this Gangplank trigger. I want to do that post, like after they attack, post attack. Okay. Definitely let Heimerdinger die. I don't really care about the Heimerdinger, of course. I want to bounce this Gangplank. Hmm. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Ride onward. Break their legs. That was yeah, that was great. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. Tell it to the fists. I can't I can't make a block that keeps me alive. This game's over. There's the one two punch. Um I guess just depending on like what we generate from this because like this is going to get even like the the spirit's refuge doesn't do anything because it gets frostbitten because of the Sejuani that doesn't help cost seven mana and is slow speed dimensions don't determine themselves doesn't matter. If only Deep Meditation cost... If only if it cost two mana, then I could have Mystic Shotted the Powder Keg. I probably would have done something. Maybe not. Maybe that wouldn't have done anything. I could have Mystic Shotted the 1-1. Yeah, no, getting rid of the powder cake would have done it too. Anyway, great hand for the opponent. You know, turn that, uh, you know, having leveled up Gangplank on turn five. That's, that's pretty great. GG's. I needed to challenge the Gangplank with my Vi, which is what I wanted to do, but I was talking about life and everything. Yeah, I needed to challenge that gangplank. The deny, obviously them hitting the deny was, 
backbreaking. It was my plan to challenge the gangplank. That was my plan. Oh, we had a not very patient opponent. I'm not, you know, we're not going to count that towards the wind over there. Awesome, Coder Jim. Glad, glad I've been helping making you a better player. Spirit's Refuge could get you one round because you save two HP from Gangplank Barrel, then Overwhelm wouldn't make this two extra two damage. I don't, I don't know how, I. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I don't know how a barrier would have helped save any damage in that scenario at all. I don't think it would have. I could have just played it to try, I guess. I don't... I don't know of any damage that would have been saved. With that, because... Basically, because I have the... the okay, so I, I have my Vi there. I have the... I put the barrier on the Vi. It's, you know, like a zero power buy that gets a, a ba lifesteal barrier. So obviously the lifesteal doesn't matter because it's zero power. Um, the gangplank trigger removes the barrier. This land is ours. Oh, I guess I... Okay, I see it. Okay, yeah, you know what? I, I see it because the gangplank trigger removes the barrier. But, okay, okay, yes. Oh, so I, I could have played that. Okay, I... I yeah, I guess I just missed that, but yeah. So basically what would happen is the Gangplank trigger would remove the barrier. The I figured it out now, what you're trying to say. Um, I don't want to use this. But it's, when the Gangplank trigger removes the barrier, it doesn't reduce one of the health of Vi, which it did re reduce one of the health of Vi, so Vi would have one more health, and therefore the Overwhelm would do one less damage. So I want all of these cards, I want... Thermogenic Beam to deal with a Sejuani. I want uh, these Twin Disciplines and Spirit's Refuge to pair with the Vi. Okay, we have another Thermogenic Beam. That's a 2-4. I mean, I guess it, it does... It's a. It's technically a 4-4. Four four. It's a 2-4. I'm just going to let it go. Um, so, yeah. We, so, the Vi would have had one more health, so then I, I would have stayed at 1. That is true. Basically, that so that last turn, I think that the Flash of Brilliance was my worst card in hand, and therefore it was the card that I decided to discard. But instead of just discard Flash of Brilliance, might as well cast it first, get an extra trigger for Vi with casting it, and then you can see if it turns out that that card is something that you really need to keep. We can. Higher guns look great against us today. You own what you take. Higher gun has looked great. So I block. Yeah. 
I'm gonna do a damage to me this turn anyway. I like this vulnerable stuff. Bounce the Razor Scale Hunter to just turn this into 10 to level up Vi. And also go to 18. Alright, yeah. be happy with the fun deck submission for the next donation deck absolutely Here's the fun part. This. Son of a should have passed this my ship. should have passed Alright, still works. Do have leveled up Va. Let none disturb my meditation. And now we will reset by. Reset that toughness or that health. My shop is my spear. Piltover enforcer on the scene. I'll take that trade. Hmm. Guess not. Guess I won't take that trade. We need you to be punching things. We need a lot of punches. I'm not greedy. My oh. Them. That's something they missed. Success gets you noticed around Ugh. here. Yeah, you Yay, they missed. The dark beckons. Seize the 
opportunity. That's pretty good. So we could do multiple, we could do three Vi's, or we could have three Shadow Assassins. Can't go down that low, they got two warring shots in hand. Sorry, deny. The thing about doing the, the multiple shadow assassins is we get to draw two cards. So that's pretty good. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Fight for your lives. Ooh. Carved from the savage cold. Well, I guess we're not doing the guess we're not doing the Vi anymore. Maybe I should have just had. Oh, I should have done the math. Oh, yeah, they just need to do that. Never mind. They frostbite everything. Right, right, right. 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 They have another one of those, too. And those Yordle Grifters. Those are pretty good. Sejuani is so good. I <laughs> hear he'd pickpocket as chipmunk at first. Yeah, kind of the chem punk, the chipmunk. Yeah, like a chipmunk pickpocket. It's too late for you. Oh dear. Oh wait, they can't. Anticipated outcome. Down to three. Yeah, don't frostbite again, because they've already frostbitten once. It's a one time thing. My draw was great. Hope this works. Wow. Does not work. So I have two options. Bounce Sejuani now. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the best option. Other option is just play Heimerdinger and bounce on their attack, so like they're not attacking for lethal. My Vi is dead.
Yeah, I mean, well, we can still have Vi block Sejuani, because remember, they don't have, they don't have anything, nothing's vulnerable right now. But yeah, if they have, you know, if they have another Frostbite thing, I mean, I don't have much health left anyway, so I guess if they have more, if they have more things that Frostbite my whole team, I don't really have health anyway. It's not lethal. Like, again, they, they don't have... Oh, wait, 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 because, yeah, they have... Oh, it challenges itself, right. Hmm. Every wave is a path. The dark right. beckons. Hmm. Pain is nothing. Well, we're up to Mr. Shot our own thing. Ride onward. Tell it to the fists. If I must. Dun, 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 dun. No. Ugh. I mean, I think that was my best play was the keeping the Vi alive with the Will of Ionia, because I, I don't think we had a better option. Make it rain. Yeah, Sejuani's amazing. The card is so good. That card just completely dominated that game. On its own. A game I, I didn't think we were losing until they played that Sejuani. But yeah, no, it's... I've talked plenty about how good that card is. It's very, very good. Um... I don't really hate these cards. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't hate these cards. Deep meditation is pretty slow. I want to keep it though. I like having the disciplines protect monk. I like that. And you know, we have champions of five six, uh, five six six over here so William's probably going to do some work for us. If they're out there, I'll spot them. For the homestead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Darius is Darius looks really really silly compared to the other uh, six mana champions around these days. The other five and six mana champions star. Darius is pretty weak. I mean, obviously, it, it can be 10 power and can win the games. Like, there's times, like, that it just does that, but... Overall, it's not. It's like, if everything else is going right for you, it can do good stuff for you. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought I could save Twin Disciplines. And just use Mystic Shot instead. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That Elixir of Iron was nice. That's kind of how today's going, though. Any decision I make... You know, my, my opponent has the card to make sure that my whatever my decision was was the wrong decision. I'm sure if I would have Twin Disciplines, they would have had something else. I don't know why, like, basically it would have been, like, in future turns, I would have needed that Twin Disciplines to... Uh, stop. 
stay alive. This keeps them from getting a Sejuani trigger. And it makes my deep meditation cost three mana next turn. against it whether you know deep meditation for five mana this turn is the same if i just keep that if i just save that two mana all right well looks like i cast it anyway all right what kind of spell they are they gonna give me Noxion Fervor. Noxion Fervor. Sense the Noxion Fervor? I don't think so. Save me, Luke. We're just... We're just gonna die to these things. Ooh, we found a Heimerdinger. I have them. Maybe we have a chance? Mayhaps? Sejuani 9 power overwhelm. Yuck. War Mason, reporting for duty. That Sejuani from triggering, you know, from getting a level up, getting towards the level up. And fire! Round and round and round it goes! Take out Cat of the Arm, I'm happy with that. We heard the Sejuani, I'm happy with that. We can now have Noxion Fervor kill that thing. They... Have Elixir of Iron, I will not be happy about that. <laughs> but the hope is before that thing overwhelms over and does all that damage to, to me, that we'll be able to Noxion Fervor, like you know, we'll be able to like, have a 3-1 chump block a Kato and then Noxion Fervor it away and kill Sejuani. That's my hope right now. That's the game plan. No, no. 
No, they don't have the plus four, plus four burst. Why would you say that? Now you just gave it to them. Oh, don't say that they'll have it. You're supposed to say that plan sounds like it's going to work. That sounds like a good plan that will, that will definitely work. I found my family. Don't give them my cards I can't beat. I could also... So that's that's one plan. Other plan could be... Draw three, play an 8-8. Eight, eight. Hmm. Dimensions hmm. don't determine themselves! I play Vi, and if I go with that plan, I have no protection for Heimerdinger. I think I'll just pass. Remember the objectives. They have less mana now. I'm doing this my way. It's true, no plus four plus four. They played an, an elixir of iron, right? Yeah, they did. So they've already played one of those. Basically setting up where if they do have Elixir of Iron, I just lose, right? I mean, I could have Vimerdinger trade to save more damage. Alright, what if... What if I just Spirit's Refuge? Instead. Bring it. I could do that. Blah. Spirit's Refuge here. That'll keep me barely alive. Or... There's the one -two punch. Like, yeah, so if I do this and I go Noxion Fervor, we save, you know, we go down to five. We go to six. But if they... Let's not go this way. If they have Elixir of Iron, I die. So I probably need to block like this. Protect that from happening. I'd at least still go to two with a dead Heimerdinger instead of me being dead. If they have Elixir of Iron. Say, Ma, you're killing me. Why would you say they're going to have transfusion? You're literally killing me. Now I'm dead. Why? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I have transfusion, so I die. Thank you. It's a tough block. I didn't do a block that saved me the absolute most damage. That would have been 
doing the lifesteal card. I was going to hope to stay alive there and then use, you know, play a couple more things and get the vibe bigger before the, you know, do a bigger lifesteal challenge and gain more life back. And turn the corner. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't I don't know if there's a way to play around transfusion. Heimer Lux, the better Heimerdinger deck. Alright, can we win? The mirror. Um, just keep all of these. Keep all of them. Such a difficult deck to play. I don't know. I've been... Yeah, like you're so close to staying alive. And one or two... Nothing to worry about. Wrong moves, really. One wrong move. And suddenly you're not close to staying alive anymore. Put an end to magic. Yeah, how they played the Omen Hawk first, I, I just thought they were just trying to get more damage in, but yeah, I guess I guess I should have recalibrated to transfusion. There's a way to. I don't know either if there's a way to stay alive through transfusion. Root out magic at its source. Should have mulliganed the thermogenic beam. That's what I should have done. So lucky getting there three drops. I want three drops. Wasted seven mana. Disgusting. Root them out. Could have mulliganed more looking for three draws, but it doesn't look like I would have found him. Imminently logical. All right, we're gonna need Heimer. We're need, gonna need to get lucky with Heimerdinger turrets. This is definitely the, our easiest way to steal this game in this matchup is Progress just time reading or going crazy. As you can see, we have a lot of cards that say they cost three mana in hand. If we play two of them, that deep meditation will cost three mana next turn. Two options, Twin Disciplines, and we definitely get a turret, or get excited and try to, like, get excited is pretty high upside. I'm gonna go Twin Disciplines where we definitely get a turret, because of the burst speed. So that, because if I, if I go, like, get excited and they have another um, fight spell, then we don't necessarily get a, a turret. But if we go Twin Disciplines and they have another fight spell, we still get the turret. My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> so my best play against Deluxe, is it Will of Ionia? It's probably Will of Ionia. So therefore, I'm not going to just proactively cast Deep Meditation, get another 3-1. 
Let's see, would I... Hmm. No, it would have been 9 damage. I would have done that and then get excited them and get two more 3 ones. This went, this went just absolutely perfect for me. Yes, These last two turns went absolutely perfect for me. It's alright. Cannot complain. These turns definitely put me ahead. How's our Vi doing? 10-4? Yeah, the, the, really, the, it was the, that turn 5 that we got to play Heimerdinger and make multiple turrets and untap with Heimerdinger because their only card they played was a single combat and nothing else. That was a just a dream turn for us. Um, and then, yeah, of course, getting a deny on a 6-mana spell, also a dream. Magic is insidious. So we stay vigilant. I'm doing this my way. Magic stops with me. Attack. To also be fair, what my opponent's done has been one of like the worst hands you can have for that deck. Right, like turn three. Okay, they're playing back to back. So they're not playing my they're not playing the list that I was playing yesterday. I was gonna say my list, I mean Gucci's list, but yeah. They're not playing that list. Um but yeah, you know, nothing on one, nothing on two, just a mage seeker conservator on three. And then another Mage Seeker. Or not conserve. Whatever, that one that we just killed. I just had that thing on turn three. Investigator on three. And then Conservator plus Investigator on four. Not spectacular. Answers. I have them. Could just be my lack of or like you know maybe i'm not supposed to be playing hybridinger there since we don't have the protection but yeah 
still worked out. I, I was really tempted just to play the deep meditation and get a 5-1 that could block the 6-4. Let the light guide you. I was pretty tempted to do that. Let's see, if I play this, I don't get double William. Could see them going back to back. Like, you know, again, that's like something that I'd be scared of. Where that's burst speed, I can't respond to it. Um, even if that's the case. Yeah. Well, that's probably worse for me than back to back. Really don't want to take the six. I'm gonna try Will of Ionia again. Do some more bounce in. Mix more four ones with fearsome. And, fire! and I can have a Spirit's Refuge to make another four one fearsome. And try to have lethal next turn. getting punished for if I if I do play I get excited I can't really think of anything so I no longer really care if the Heimerdinger lives or dies and now if they have a single combat that gets to take out one of my things that I don't get to save that anymore. Round and round and round it goes. So bad. Nice! Our Stingus says, I tried the all-in Fizz deck and it's a blast. I only have two Fizz and it still works really well. Awesome. Glad to hear that, Stinga. That's good. Alright, so yeah, so there's Vimerdinger Control. Not, not necessarily the deck for me. Not a, a huge fan of this deck, but... Um, Heimerdinger in general is just an awesome, awesome card. Vi is still very good. Um, you know, not you know, even if not as good before, still just kind of look at looking at the new Vi, still very good. Um, I prefer I prefer Heimerdinger Lux, honestly. The the um, a deck kind of like my opponents playing. They weren't playing my version, but yeah, I like that version more myself. I recommend checking out um, 
the video from yesterday, if you're watching this right now, recommend watching the Mage Seeker Lux deck from yesterday. Because, uh, yeah, that deck is very good. Um, with this version, I don't know. I, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. There's just something... It's just not, I don't know, consistent enough for me. Or something, I don't know. It's just, you're, you know, barely trying to stay alive a lot. And so maybe, like, the games that you do win, like, being able to stay alive, like, that feels pretty good. Um, I can see a lot of people liking it because of that. But, but yeah, again, uh, if this if this is, like, your deck, if you love playing some Vimerdinger Control, make sure to check out uh, Meta World Gaming over on Twitch and, I believe, YouTube as well. Um, this is all that they, there's, like, a group of people over there, uh, a couple of guys. And this is all they play. They play this deck all the time, uh, you know, every day. So, yeah, definitely check them out over there. All right, that's it here for Vimerdinger Control, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.